1982 from 2019, that's how long I've been shooting my Ventress. This will be my 37th year of competition. 2017, I qualified to make the world team, and they take the top 12 shooters across the United States. I think they've been in the top 20 the last two or three years at the nationals. You know, on the national levels, you're shooting against some of the best shooters in the United States. Most bench rest shooters are pretty compulsive people. They want to do everything themselves. They want anything that has to do with, with shooting. They want control. Bench rest shooters are control people. <laughs> they want to control everything they can. The best way you can control your rifle work is to do it yourself. My friend that I was shooting bench rest with, we were traveling to matches together at that time, Joe Archer. He worked at a machine shop over in Shamrock. He'd come in after hours and he'd chamber my bench rest barrels, he'd chamber his bench rest barrels, and we'd go shoot matches. Two years later, I bought a Jet 12 by 36 bench lathe and started doing my own barrel work. I didn't know a thing about running a lathe. I trued up a Remington 40X action, and then I, I chambered a, my first barrel was a 222 with a tight neck. I took it down to the range, and my first five-shot group with that rifle was an 080. 080, that's under one-tenth of an inch for a five-shot group. I built a 600-yard gun for James Phillips in Tennessee. He set three world records with that rifle. I bought that lathe in 87, and then in 97, I started building rifles for the general public. I had 10 years of building rifles for myself when I started offering to build rifles for other people. I've got rifles in Brazil, Switzerland, even have one in Russia, a couple are in Russia, several in the Netherlands, a couple in Great Britain, one in Spain. You know, the same kind of techniques that you use to build a Ventress rifle are the same techniques you use to build a hunting rifle. I've had a lot of people bring me factory hunting rifles to sight in their rifles at deer season, and it is a pain in the rear to sight those rifles in because they will not shoot. When a gun shoots two inch groups at 100 yards, you move the scope two inches, well you don't know whether the bullet moved two inches or four inches or what it did. It's real hard. But when, the, when that gun shoots half inch or less, you make an adjustment on your scope and the bullet moves where it's supposed to. It makes it easy to sight it in. It's a world of difference shooting a custom gun than what it is shooting a factory rifle. Now, normally I can have a rifle back in about two months time and that'd be Cerakoted, you know, the whole works ready to shoot.